This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, and especially at the moment, I do hope you're well. Now then, uh, it's Friday, uh, but by the time you're watching this, it'll be Saturday, and you know the kind of routine I've been settling into over the past few weeks. On Friday, I do a video where I'm just basically having a jam, and then that goes up on YouTube on a Saturday. Um, now, the jam track I used today is one that comes from my David Gilmore course, which is getting rather a lot of nice reviews on Udemy at the moment. Um, so I thought I'd just have a go over that jam track. And the idea was that every time I've played over that track up to now, I've always essentially been doing a David Gilmore impersonation. Um, so I thought it would be fun to play over it more like me. Um, and then I listened back to it after I'd finished and thought, yeah, still sounds like I'm doing a David Gilmore impersonation. Uh, there's just something about that track that um, that brings out that side of me, I guess. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's have a listen to the solo. Then I'll tell you all about what was going through my mind as I was playing. Here it is. So there you go. As I said, still sounds like I'm doing a David Gilmore impersonation, doesn't it? Um, so, as ever, I will be uh, ferreting away in Guitar Pro over the next few days, getting all of that tabbed out for my wonderful, wonderful Patreon supporters. Thank you, guys. You know who you are. You are really, truly appreciated. Um, and that tab and the jam track will be up on Patreon in the next few days. I usually get these done by about uh, Sunday or Monday. They, they're usually up there. Um, so... Oh, by the way, just while I'm talking about the Patreon, um, today's May the 1st, so all of the Patreon exclusive content has gone live. There's a podcast and there's a, a Patreon only solo that uh, is tabbed out and jam track and explained and everything like that. So it's only $3 a month and you get all of these tabs and everything. So uh, go and check it out. You're helping me keep the lights on around here. Anyway, let's take a little bit of a look at what was governing my note choices and you know what I was thinking about in terms of uh, you know what notes to play over the top of that jam track here it is right then the chords in the jam track are f sharp minor e major d major b minor 
and back to F sharp minor. That, for the most part, is what's going on in the chord sequence. Um, so obviously it's got quite a strong F sharp minor feel, so we can use an F sharp minor pentatonic. <laughs> But what you can also do is just find some extra notes that are in the chords. I mean, you know, if you can, if you know that the pentatonic uh, scale has that note in it there, and you can see that the E chord has this note here, then you can add that note in. And if you can identify what that note is, it's a G sharp, then um, you can add it in elsewhere in the scale. So there, for example. There it is there where we found it in the E chord. And there it is again there. So that's a note that you can add into the scale just for to add a little bit more colour and to give a strong note to land on whenever there's an E chord happening. The D chord and the B minor chord both have this note in. And again, if you can identify what that note is, it's a D, by the way, then you can find other Ds in the uh, vicinity of that scale pattern and start adding them in. Uh, so we've got, uh, well, this is a D note here. Anybody who tunes their guitar the old school way of going to the fifth fret on the A string to get the note for the open D string will know that that is a D. So we can add in the D note there and there. So you've basically got that scale, an F sharp minor pentatonic with an added G sharp note that we're getting from the um, E major chord and an added D note that's present in the B minor and the D chords. And when you add a D note and a G sharp note into an F sharp minor pentatonic, you get the F sharp natural minor scale, or sometimes known as the uh, F sharp aeolian mode. Uh, there is, there are a few other chords in the middle kind of section of, of the jam track, but there's nothing really that adds anything more significant in terms of note content apart from one chord. There is a C sharp seventh chord, which kind of brings us nicely back into land on the F sharp minor. That's what we call a secondary dominant chord, by the way. You can hear that resolves beautifully back onto F sharp minor. And that C sharp seventh chord has this note in it, uh, which is an F note. So at one point in the solo, at that particular point, I actually land on that F note to coincide with the uh, C sharp seventh chord, just cause it was handy and I, uh, I landed on it. I think I did it uh, up the octave though, but it's basically the same note, just an octave higher that I used. So that was what was governing my note choices in this solo. And there you have it. Um, hopefully that all made sense. And as I say, if you want to get some of those licks under your fingers, then the uh, the tab will be up on my Patreon page in the next few days. And that's pretty much it for today, folks. Uh, I'll just mention, as always, about the uh, Fret Zealot giveaway. I'm sure you know all about that because I've been blethering on about it in videos uh, for, for quite a while now. Uh, but if you're new to the channel and you don't know what I'm talking about, there is basically a Fret Zealot giveaway going on. That that nifty little tuition device which is a bunch of LEDs on on the neck of your guitar which light up and tell you exactly where to put your fingers to play all manner of wonderful things including a couple of my courses that are now available on the Fret Zealot platform. Uh, details about how to enter the uh, draw are all down there in the description. Uh, May the 7th is uh, the closing date and I'll be drawing a winner shortly after that and announcing who the lucky person is who's getting a free Fret Zealot and there's also a discount code that you you can see on screen there that if you fancy your fret zealot and you don't win the free one then um you can uh, get one a little bit cheaper thanks to me again link in the description uh, and the discount code is down there as well so check it out and uh, you can get one a little bit cheaper if you don't win the free one and that's it for today folks i hope to see you all in a few hours time and uh, during the uh, friday live stream as you know uh, it will be saturday by the time you're watching this so it'll all have happened but we do this every friday uh, 5 p.m uk time we all just kind of join up and have a live stream and a 
beer and a chat and a laugh and it's marvellous fun so um, yeah check it out one week uh, you might just enjoy yourself and that is it for today folks thank you so much for watching thank you for your time uh, I hope you found the video useful if you have hit the subscribe button notification bell all the rest of it uh, stay well stay safe and above all stay sane thanks for watching see you next time folks bye for now <laughs>